So, you just want everything to be edgy. Not a problem. In the next 60 seconds, you'll control so many edges, they'll be crowning you the Edgelord. Basically, I've created a node that adds realistic wear and tear to virtually any object you dump into it. All you need to do is pick the colors and a few numbers, and out will come something like this. But real quick, just to be totally transparent, I learned how to create this node setup by reverse engineering another super amazing free material from Wayward Art Company. I know sometimes I sound like a total ass, but believe it or not, I'm not the kind of guy to steal another man's credit. So definitely check his channel out if you get the chance. If you go to the description, you will find a link to both the original and my revised version of the material. All right, let's do this. So this is the original node I based mine off of. It highlights the edges of your model in white noise and does a pretty damn good job of it. But I wanted to take it a step further. I wanted it to automatically generate the finished look as well. So here is my revised version. Basically, you just drag whatever pattern you want for the base, then drag whatever pattern you want for the edge wear, pick your colors, decide how wide you want the edge wear to be, how smooth and clear, and you're done. Once you do that, it automatically pumps this out on whatever object you give it. That's really it. It handles everything else for you. If you have your own patterns you'd like to use for the base instead, just unplug the default and drag in your own. Easy as that. Same thing with the edge wear. If you want more designed edge scratching, just drag yours in. It might not look perfect sometimes, but for the 10 seconds it takes you, it doesn't look half bad. To install it on your computer, just download the file from the description, open up your own Blender project, go to File, Append, find the download, go to Materials, and click the material named The Amazing Shading. It should then appear in your materials, and you can use it for whatever you like absolutely free. So if anyone comes up to you and tries to sell you the amazing shade and you can go tell them to fuck off because this shit is free. So from here if you click on the main node and press tab you can see how it works. Or you can press Control alt g to dissect, change, or improve it however you want. These nodes identify the object to get the edges from. This node colors the edges, and this group of nodes transitions the edge color data to black and white. Everything else after this just mixes the white areas into whatever maps you drag into the base and edge patterns. The top group of nodes just prepares the color map, and the bottom group prepares the black and white versions for the bump, roughness, and metallic. But again, if you just want to use it, all you have to do is drag in your patterns and pick your numbers. There was only one thing I wasn't able to figure out, and that was how to add a value that lets you decide what angles of degree get affected by the edges. So like, if I only wanted angles that were sharper than 90 degrees to show where, ideally there would also be a number here that you could drag up and down to decide that. But uh, that was beyond me. So for any of you Node Vamba people who get a kick out of this stuff, feel free to download it and take a stab at it. If you figure it out, hit me up on Twitter so I can update it and give you a shout out for being a beautiful person. One last thing you should know is that it only works and cycles. The pointiness and bevel nodes still don't work in Eevee and honestly I don't know when they'll ever fix that. But don't get your hopes up because it's been three years and still no signs of edge detection working in Eevee so I assume it's at the bottom of their priority list. But yeah, other than that, I hope it helps. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you now.